Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom in the fall towards early winter. And how do you continue to grow that time of the year? Well, there's a few things you can do. One is get a cold frame or build a cold frame. And this is basically a wooden box. It's got this greenhouse plastic on it. And I wanna show you here what we've got going on inside. So inside the cold frame, we have lots of different vegetables growing. I started some of these vegetables inside. Here's a tray. There's a little bit of kale here. We've got some lettuces, some mizuna. And I've been moving the plants into the cold frame over time. Some of these may end up just getting tossed or eaten. Put that aside. And cold frames are great for those things that like it cold. So what you notice in the cold frame is you're not gonna see cucumbers and tomatoes and eggplants, but what we do see are some of the lettuces. So we have this great romaine lettuce here. We have a little bit of a, a red sales lettuce. We have some cilantro, claytonia. We also have kale, some napa cabbage, more kale, parsley, and rosemary. So all of those things do really well in the cold frame, all of the different vegetables. We even have some radicchio in the back there, which will continue to grow right through the winter. So cold frames can sit on the ground like this. This is actually on a brick patio, or you can put the cold frame right on the soil and plant the plants right in the ground. These plants are in a pot. A Couple of things about the plants in the cold frame, they don't need as much water. They're gonna grow extremely slowly. And what will happen is, is as we get towards February and March, as the light gets stronger, they'll start growing again and you can start enjoying new vegetables very early in the spring. So it's a way to extend in the fall and a way to start earlier in the spring. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.